subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ900. So let's get started. Question number 1, Describe the Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure. Your answer is, the Cloud Adoption Framework is a collection of Microsoft-tested literature, implementation guidelines, best practices, and tools designed to accelerate your cloud adoption journey. Question number 2, Describe the functionality and usage of Azure Advisor. Your answer is, Azure Advisor analyzes your setups and usage data and provides personalized, actionable recommendations to assist you in optimizing your Azure resources for dependability, security, operational excellence, performance, and cost. Question number 3, Explain Azure Resources. Your answer is, a resource in Azure is an entity that Azure manages. Azure resources include things like virtual machines, virtual networks, and storage accounts. Question number 4, Describe the functionality and usage of Azure Monitor. Your answer is, Azure Monitor assists you in increasing the availability and performance of your applications and services. It provides an all-in-one solution for collecting, evaluating, and acting on telemetry from your cloud and on-premises settings. Question number 5, Explain the difference between authentication and authorization. Your answer is, Authentication is the process of determining who someone is, whereas authorization is the process of determining which apps, files, and data a person has access to. These are the same aims that authentication and authorization achieve. Question number 6, what do you understand by the terms Microsoft Azure and Azure Diagnostic? Your answer is, Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing interface that is implemented by Microsoft so as to get benefit from cloud computing. On the other hand, Azure Diagnostics is an API-based system that collects the data to diagnose the application which is constantly running. Moreover, it tunes with verbose monitoring by enabling the roles of cloud services. Question number 7, What do you understand by cloud computing? Your answer is, Cloud computing is a high-level abstraction procedure that lays special emphasis on business logic. This service is delivered via the Internet that helps you with the computing services without laying much importance on the infrastructural needs just like the electric supply. Question number 8, what is the scalability of cloud computing? If the above question appears as the Azure interview questions, then in such case the most appropriate answer would be scaling is one of the advantages that are of two types. 1. Vertical scaling is the one where the configuration tends to increase the existing capacity of the machine. Just like you expand the size of the RAM from 4 GB to 32 GB. 2. Horizontal scaling is another aspect where the physical aspect is increased like putting multiple machines at work, instead of replacing the existing machine. Question number 9, discuss the different deployment models of the cloud? Your answer is, there are various deployment models for the cloud. 1. Private cloud deployment model. The one where you own the infrastructure and the cloud provider allows you to get the service exclusively. 2. Public cloud deployment model. The one where you get the multi-tenant infrastructure from the service provider exclusively. 3. Hybrid cloud deployment model. Is basically a setup of intermixed public and private data. It generally includes the confidential data that will be served in-house and the public directed website is there to address the public. Question number 10. Name the service used to manage the resources in Azure. Your answer is, the Azure Resource Manager is the infrastructure that is solely and completely involved in managing deploys or deleting all the resources. Question number 11, what do you mean by roles? Your answer is, roles in cloud management are generally servers that are connected to manage and balance the platform as a service machine, which further collaborates works to attain the goal. Question number 12, what do you mean by a domain? Your answer is, a domain is the interconnected and interlinked nodes that are often used as a measure by the organization. These relations are carried by only one point of the organization. Question number 13, explain the fault domain. Your answer is, it refers to the logical working domain where the underlying hardware is sharing a common power source and switch network. 
In other words, when VMs are created the Azure distributes the VM across the fault domain that limits the potential impact of hardware failure, power interruption, or outages of the network. Question number 14. Discuss update domain. Your answer is. It refers to a logical group that undergoes maintenance by rebooting the system. It enables the user to run any one of the application, while the Azure platform is undergoing maintenance. The updated domain does not work sequentially to the manual rebooting. Question number 15. Differentiate between verbose and minimal monitoring. Your answer is. Verbose monitoring collects metrics based on the performance that enables close analysis of data that fed during the processing of the application. On the other hand, minimal monitoring is a default configuration that makes the use of the performance counters gathered from the operating system of the host. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.